Thank you, David Letterman and Worldwide Pants for giving me this opportunity and chance of a lifetime to produce my play. Hopefully, we get to do this again next year or something. And I had a lot of fun, and thank you. Writing before I took Writetopia was kind of boring because my writing teacher, she used to pick all the topics. Some of the topics that she picked, I wasn't really interested in. Most of the kids in the class wasn't interested in it. I ended up taking classes at Rytopia at the library because I was there one day and the librarian, Miss Sarah, she told me that there was a writing class going on and then she asked Rebecca if I could come into it. And Rebecca said yes. And Rebecca and Dave put me into it and then we went through like a process on beginning us to write in like hot seats where you sit down and you talk about your character and you describe your character in one word. And the obstacle game where your character goes through different obstacles. So those helped us begin our writing too. Happy birthday, Sam! I came up with the idea of Pink Friday for the fact that I love pink. Pink is like my favorite color ever. My main character was Sam. She wanted not to be treated like a little kid. She wanted to be treated like her age. She was old enough to have a bigger party without a whole little baby theme and everything like that. And her mom just, in the beginning of the story, wasn't convinced that she was old enough yet. First, her obstacle was her mom, then trying to get the party ready. But then, I guess, at the end, her sister helped her with the obstacles. She got the stuff ready for the party. She convinced her mom to change it and everything. So the sister was a big help in the story. After I wrote the play in my school, the kids in my class or the teachers or something searched up my name on Google and then they seen the newspaper that I was in because a few weeks before, this other guy named Dave, he came to my house for the Bronx Times and interviewed me about my play, Pink Friday, and I was in Bronx Times. So then one of my friends searched it up. The whole school seen it and then they started making copies and stuff and putting it around the school, in the office, and classrooms and I had to go to classes. I went to my old fourth grade teacher and I talked to his class about it. What I talked about with the kids was the process that we went through, going through the play. Like how did I feel when I started it? Oh, what was it about and stuff? I felt like I can get people excited about the process of writing and writing itself. Oh, this is turning out to be a very pink Friday. <laughs> The people that actually did the play, my like the characters, the actresses that did it, they did an awesome job. It was fun to see that other people doing my play. It was real interesting to be there, and I didn't go to sleep until like 12 o'clock that night. <laughs> After my play was produced, writing was like the only thing I liked to do, writing all the time. <laughs>